like I haven't pressed now efficiently for like, ages, mate. Like yeah. three months. Like my AC joint has just no been irritated. Your chest looked shit yesterday. Yeah, my chest does look really flat. To be fair, like it's really noticeable. <laughs> like it's very very flat. To um, be fair, one thing that is quite good though is that your front delts look. Your front delts, you, yesterday, your side delts don't look anywhere near as dominant, but I think no. also that's partly just when you're a bit fatter. Yeah, when I'm, it's because how pointy and sharp they yeah. are. But, um, but I definitely actually think, like, um, kind of skip, skipping between topics here, I definitely think, like, my physique's, like, pretty, like, balanced now, which I'm quite, like, obviously when I get lean, it'll be interesting to see. But I think I've definitely brought up areas, like, for example, in comparison to my side delts, like my legs, for example, I think look really balanced Where do the you front. think you're weak now? Because like I've got I've got a, I've got a arms I think could idea. be better not an yeah. idea but I've got an insight into something that I think you won't agree with. Okay, um, I'm interested to hear this. So anyway, before I interject or get we get into this, my chest has been a bit shit training wise. Uh, my chest is all right when it's okay, but because I'm wide, when I get lean, it always looks a little bit flat, and it's very easy to go flat just with how like wide my kind of um, shoulders clavicles. like are. Yeah, my clavicles are. Um, I'd say if I was to pick like weak points. My midsection is still not the best, but I think it's not as bad, but it's still... Hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard lean. to tell. Uh, my delts are definitely less overpowering, but that can only... When I get lean, like my delts are pretty stupid, this, so they this will... This tidy will probably be good to Yeah, see, it'll be good to see. You can have a more of an insight when you get lean. I think my quads are a lot better. I think my glutes are still shit. I think my glutes are pretty shit, like, if I was to be honest. Um, my lower back's thicker, but it always looks thicker when I'm fatter and when I'm hinging a lot. Um, I think, I'd say my arms need to be better. I'd say like my forearms definitely like my forearms are, like vascular in detail but they're quite thin in comparison so like a front double bicep my arms don't look bad but I definitely think if I was to get lean they would uh, need to be better uh, I don't really I feel like it's one of those especially when you look at it from a bodybuilding sense everything just needs a bit of work you know like, yeah, my, like what would you more what would you be saying what do you think I'd go disagree you know how with? you always used to think that your hamstrings were like so good compared to your quads yeah I don't think they are anywhere near anymore. I think quads have come on a lot, yeah. but from the side, I think a lot of it's posing. Yeah. But like your side leg is all quad. Oh yeah, most of the, yeah. Like, but I also think that is probably posing. I think a lot of it's posing because your hamstrings yeah. from the back are pretty good. Yeah. But I think a lot of it as well from the back is your adductors because your adductors are very good. Yeah. So what uh, you think about hamstrings? Your hamstrings could... are yeah. I honestly yeah. think, and, and I think that's probably because like when you do a hip hinge, I think you get a lot more erect, a lot more back mm. out of your hip hinge. Yeah, and then if you think about it, your hamstring volume is pretty low oh, really because low. Yeah. you've always thought that they're really strong, and they I have been. They used yeah, to be. Yeah. Like when you used to hit a side leg, and again when you're leaner, it's different. I think it, yeah. But the problem is when you're fat, you almost sit on your you, you hit your side pose a little bit differently because when you're lean, your hamstring will just sit if you don't even like if you just sit onto that leg without contracting, yeah. your hamstring will like hang. When when you're fat, it's all blurred. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you yeah, can't you really can see. see that separation still yeah. from your quad to your ham. I think yeah. a lot of it is posing. Like yeah. Your posing could be a lot better, but obviously you are fat. Yeah. So it's difficult. Yes. So yeah. your posing could be a lot better. But I do think I think you do need to prioritise your hamstrings a little bit more. Mm. And just practice posing like the side shots. Yeah. I think the side shots it's, it's one of those side shots are fucking horrendous to side get. Side tricep, into. yeah, fair enough. But yeah. side chest, like your hamstring it, like have a look at the photos when oh, you yeah. get a chance. Yeah, yeah. Like the side chest oh, mate, go, oh shit, yeah, like a hamstring, there's not much there like in terms of hanging down compared yeah. to what it used to be yeah, in comparison. I, I also think as well, like my quads have come from like pretty much like one of like my mm. weakest body parts to probably like one yeah, of my best. Yeah, good body part now. Yeah, so like... But still from the front, you, I think your adductors make your quads look a lot better from the front. Yeah, yeah. But I've definitely got more of like an outer sweep now, which is good because I had no outer sweep prior. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Like ideally, for people that don't know, I'm like three days, what is it, Thursday? So yeah, this is the fourth day into a tidy up. Oh, I'm a bit flat, guys. I've, I've pulled off 2.8 kilos, another 0.5 drop. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might need to refeed. Fair. Yeah, this this will spill this will this will spill me over. Uh, to be fair, my rest day my rest day my rest day food's like fuck all in comparison to what it was. What was it? Uh, 300 carb, 300 protein, 80 fat, which was like prior. Yeah. 80 what? fat. 80, I know, Jesus Christ. That's mental. That that's still like, for me, that's still like quite a lot compared yeah. to where I'm at currently still. Yeah, well, mate, like, my, my training day food, I pulled off 400 carb. I think like 15 my, fat my and then 30 four, protein. On a training day altogether. Yeah, I'm still more food than you. Oh, yeah, you will. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? So, yeah, so basically a little tidy up. Um, it's one of those where like, I'll have people through social media, clients, like, I don't think I've had a single person say to me, good thing you're tidying up, bro, you're fat. But I'm at that no point. No one's going to say that though, are they? No, but the, va the vast majority are like, you're still in okay, Nick. You know, you could push. That's I what could. everybody says, mate. I could, yeah. People were telling me to push to 250. Yeah, 250, 230, to go to 250. Yeah, you see, I put that video on my story. Yeah, yesterday. but you were legit. Like, that's... I don't know. I think I could have probably pushed. Yeah, you probably could have made a little bit more, but you were, you were quite fat. Like, that would be like me at like 300. But It's weird though, because like, like I've said before, like, 
remembering back then, I didn't feel mm. lethargic. I didn't feel fat. Like I, I definitely I knew did. I was, yeah. but I didn't feel like. I think it's just because I was doing cardio every day. Like, yeah. Do you remember there was never a time where it was like fucking hell, you're unfit. Like in my sessions, I was oh, still me, yeah. really, really yeah, like. Yeah. I was recovering really well between sets. Yeah. Like as much as I was very, very fat. I think the only thing that was like really noticeable was my sleep. Yeah. Like I'd snore a lot and now and again Shannon would be worried that I was gonna die. Similar to you. Yeah. That's the worst um, issue for me. But other than that, like other than nearly dying in my sleep, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's good. But then every night, like Shannon thinking I'm gonna die. Yeah, it, was it was fine. It was really good. But no, like I actually I, I imagine if I was to go back to that right now, I'd be like, yeah. Fucking hell, I feel oh, like, be, awful. Yeah. But because it was such a gradual increase to that point and because I was like still doing cardio and everything, I remember just feeling really good. Yeah, yeah, I think you definitely do. It's more impactful when you like fall out of sync. Like, I went to obviously Vegas, and we were doing cardio in the mornings, but it might have been why I did cardio four times instead of seven times in a week. And then I came back, and it was like the steps, my feet were fucked. And then it was a case where obviously I had New we were York. Doing and, a lot in Vegas, though. Yeah, it? It was busy. and then New York was actually two, three weeks after, which was as busy. And like I remember coming back and it was like I said to Finn like during the Vegas trip I was like I'd probably like to tidy up soon like again from a composition standpoint I could have pushed up but you it's said, a case where you? the responsiveness how you feel you like sleep for example I haven't had over like sixty as a sleep score more than once probably or twice that I can remember over the last like three or four months where like yeah, that's because you play games all night <laughs> no it's not at all my literally mate my I, I sleep for like my it, the other night I remember it was like I got to bed relatively like early and it said I didn't get to bed till two a.m. because I was like yeah, which again is going to be a bit of a glitch. Yeah, I'm not going to say my aura ring is everything. I know I slept, but like I'm a very, I've always been a very light sleeper. Like when I was young, I used to always struggle to sleep. Um, so like the fact that I sleep, not a light sleeper. I was kicking him in Vegas <laughs> because he was snoring. No, I would say a light sleeper. I wake up a lot. Like I, it might not be a light sleeper, but I wake up maybe five or six times. I'm probably choking in my sleep yeah. and I was dying. So you definitely <laughs> didn't. You, I was literally booting you and you weren't waking up. I was just. <laughs> Just snoring more it's horrible so and bearing in mind Finn's saying this Finn also did snore like yeah so we, Finn, I was, Finn like, is I was full of cookies every night yeah like cookies and ice cream and just his body's trying to process it <laughs> to be fair I think the only night that I snored was the night that we all had cookies and ice cream yeah maybe but uh, but anyway <laughs> like I said sleep was a bit shit appetite was getting to the point where like I just felt like very very like just meh um, I definitely felt more sluggish but that was probably a combination of like routine and stuff like that and also because of like performance I'm not saying like performance is going to drop off you get to a point where you're so heavy every set's battering you you're moving around like not like 270 280 it's not like it was like so hard no, but, but it was like i'd have a deload and within like a week or two after just hard training which again is granted when you're quite strong but i'd feel like i've legitimately just trashed myself yeah i remember like think back to the sessions when like i was i think we were both like, i i don't think you were like peak off season but you were he heavy yeah and i was like when we were deadlifting on that saturday and we yeah. were both like getting good progressions every single week mm. we were doing the hack on the tuesday and yeah. we were both getting good progressions every yeah. week doing like five plates plus every yeah. time then we were doing a leg press that was like absolutely battering us pressing we were doing like seven plates plus on the shoulder press yeah. obviously you were doing more but like yeah every single session it's like a massive lift yeah. that batters you yeah like obviously it's going to take its toll yeah but then also you can almost warrant that because you have so much energy yeah, stored you're, yeah, you're. and you just your joints are that secure with <laughs> yeah, stupid, just copious <laughs> amounts of lard around it. <laughs> yeah. it's olive fine. oil yeah. just, just literally full of yeah. olive oil yeah. so, it's yeah. a funny one because like thinking back to that now it's like oh, like I, I'm looking forward to being back to that but I don't need to get to that like no. I don't need to be that heavy again I, I won't benefit from being realistically that no, but you again. don't benefit from getting to like if you were to be 230 now or 240 you don't get benefit immediately no, it's no, the no. process but of I getting mean, there even in the long term yeah i don't think i'll need to push up to that mm. like, don't get me wrong i might but I, I very much doubt that i will like just based on the fact that thank you for that mate it was lovely it's all right it's a uh, four pound 80 or something whenever you get chances yeah, transfer yeah, yeah sal i said over. Um, I sent it over in the intermission yeah so no but like even in the the long term i don't think i'll need to push up to that no. based on the fact that when it next comes to a diet, it's just more work to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas like, I know that I can still have my performance at a very high level at 180 to 200 pounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then also because I've been that heavy and I've been yeah, you almost that set your... strong, yeah. but have I been that strong or have I just been fatter? Yeah. You know what I mean? And just, I just had more weight behind me. Yeah. So like, I think in the long term, like, it's easy to be like, oh, I want to push up to that. And 
I think you should if you need to make big strides forward from a muscularity standpoint. I think it depends like, on age as well. Like, yeah, as well. I'm not yeah. young anymore. You know what I mean? Like, You're uh, fucking old, mate. Yeah, but I'm not like at that age where, like for example, Josh. Like I keep saying to Josh, like I'm going to push you up. Like yeah. you're going to get pretty heavy. And he should. Gonna, yeah. yeah, because he's young. Like I think if you're in your early twenties, or, for, or younger, more so training years. Like yeah, if your well. first few years of training, just get Make heavy. Most of it. Get, yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think I'm at that point now where it's like, realistically, do I need to do that? Yeah. Like for me to st- like now going into the gym, I don't feel like oh, I need more body weight for this no. to feel better. Like, no. I don't feel like that on any movement at the minute. Yeah. The only reason I maybe would think that is that I've been heavier before. Yeah, you know so what I mean? Had that like stability. Yeah. Whereas yeah. now I'm not thinking. I don't feel unstable on any movement. No. I don't feel unsafe. I don't feel like I've not got enough energy yeah. or anything like that. It's literally just a case of time now, long, yeah. long term. Like, I'd be happy to literally be in a surplus, a small surplus, for the next two, three years. Yeah. Without probably needing a mini cut. If I do need yeah. one, I'll just pull back. But yeah. realistically, if I was to be, let's say, by the end of all that, high 190s, 200, yeah. and be like the best I've ever been at that. Yeah. I'm happy with that. You know yeah. what I mean? Rather than being like, right, I'll push up to 235 because I got to 233 yeah. last time. Yeah. Then I'll pull back. It's like, yeah, but you got to 233 last time and you were fucking really fat. Yeah, and then you have to diet off. D- like, yeah, yeah. I find uh, it mental. My like, pre prep was like 46 pounds. Yeah. Like, realistically, a pre prep should maybe be like 15 to 20. Like, if you've always been like two, like, let's say, for example, I know you weren't always 230, and like, naturally, you'll, you'll stay like a more lean sort of composition. But if you've always been like really, really heavy, when you get down to like even 180, 190, when you're not stage conditioned, you'll be like, Jesus Christ, I feel like I've pulled a lot of weight yeah, off. It's like you almost feel like point, slightly it? different in comparison. And it's like, there's no surprise you see people that do well, especially in the natural kind of feds. I think enhanced, it's a little bit different because you've got assistants to play with. But in the natural sort of realms, the people that stay quite close to their, let's say, not stage condition, but no, they're not those who find dieting it loads. To be lean, yeah, like, and find the it season. easier. Yeah, so like, for example, if you were to look at Josh, Connor, like Flanagan, the people that just like, it's, 10 kilo preps at most and then they get lean and they're like oh sound i can say it like this so for example for somebody who's pulled off let's say 40 50 60 pounds plus maybe it might be a case where you might look good for one show but try and look good for multiple shows and multiple well, months think, you're probably gonna get worse i think it's i think if you're doing it in the sense of like again like a pre-prep yeah doing it in multiple stints it's doable but like even looking at mine like i remember thinking when i started i was like oh i'm starting in a good spot yeah like looking back now, I was fat. Like I was well, like when you were like one nine five. I was one nine six, yeah. I think, when I started. Yeah. Like I remember then thinking, like, oh, I'm starting in a good spot, yeah. and it wasn't bad. Like don't no. get me wrong, it was better than two thirty odd. Yeah. But still, like now, if I had a client starting at that, I'd be like, this is softer than I want. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's just based on experience and. But also again, based mindset on how that as well. You go from two thirty to one eighty, you feel lean. Like oh well, yeah, it's, like, it's quite hard fair, at times like, to be I like. Think, I think when I was one eighty, like the look was pretty good. Especially coming back up, yeah. the look was the look was good because it yeah. was like right, okay, I'm a, a lot leaner, but I'm still full. Like and I, on the way back up, I'm obviously increasing fullness. Performance was really good. Yeah. Performance was a bit shit towards the end of the pre preps. So then when you come back up, yeah. it's like, oh, I feel great, yeah. looking really good. But then yeah, like if I look at it in isolation, if I forget all that, I still I started prep heavier than I would actually recommend yeah. now, based on what I sort of experienced. You know what I mean? Like if I was yeah. to start, if I was to be prepping this year, I'd probably be looking at starting. 180 yeah and so what would that be like 25 pounds yeah probably yeah yeah it makes it my my was so i started at like 118 technically but i went away and i came back at 112 and i was on stage at 102 so it was 22 pounds like obviously the bodybuilding shows were a bit lighter but that was like pretty sound 22 pounds in 14 weeks 15 weeks and then 10 10 kilos in the and then yeah week. and then 20 and then 25 pounds realize, in, oh, in, actually in, still really fat yeah so 10 days <laughs> yeah and then i was like oh shit i've actually over dieted and i've lost all my muscle i'm so flat fuck <laughs> what have i done but yeah that's like it, i think that gives you a better sort of understanding but you learn like again it's it's very and it's also sort of as well like situation dependent like even though you know how your body's going to respond you don't really know how you're going to look after a certain period of time like in hindsight with what you said for last year which is meant to say last year because we're mm. now into the new year but like i remember when you were setting up your shows and we both were like well you know if i get lean i can do this i can do that i can do this but the actual process of being there it's like yeah. oh this is actually not just a simple yeah. process of no, i can do, do a you. diet break or i can treat this show as a deload you feel shit you look worse yeah, <laughs> your and head's also, a mess. yeah exactly that's it i yeah. think that's what it is Ma- the main thing is that sort of mental stability at that point oh, mate, it's yeah. like you it's difficult to just go right i'll implement a diet break i'm going to feel better i'm going to look better because yeah. at that point you don't even really know what feeling better or looking oh, better no, you is you just sort yeah. of need to just do the do and, and almost try and just let 
let it almost like let it happen like yeah. don't over analyze things like, i wish i was like a kid where it was like you know you give somebody like their first ever prep like a refeed and they're like i feel amazing yeah. i remember like on the days that i'd refeed on monday and you'd be like what's up with you like you're fucking quiet as anything i was like i feel shit yeah. and you're like haven't you had extra food i was like yeah but it's not doing anything like i feel shit yeah. <laughs> like i don't feel great like but again i, I feel think... like at times that youthness of like oh my god i've had yeah. 50 grand extra carbs i feel awesome yeah i think it's maybe as well like i wouldn't say lack of experience but it's maybe a bit of naivety like yeah it's like a placebo effect like if yeah. i was to say to you five years ago right here's this try it and you'll feel great oh, you yeah. probably would just because yeah. i've told you yeah. or vice versa yeah. whereas like now we'd both be a bit more analytical and be like well, is that realistically yeah. going to be beneficial like am i actually going to feel better for it or is it just going to be i've a had carbs meal one like wow i feel so much better yeah. but to be fair like i do think there is obviously warrant to it and and performance definitely takes yeah. like does does improve and the look improves you might still physically feel shit yeah. but generally like what i found was even if i whenever i had like the refeeds or diet break or was filling up into a show i still felt i was still very lean so yeah. i still felt all the same like negative tendencies from the mm. diet but it was almost like in the immediate term getting up out of my seat was easier yeah you know what i mean little things like that oh, it's yeah, like, oh actually I, i've yeah. got i have got more energy yeah. and like mental energy was there more i wasn't maybe as irritable or as yeah. ratty like if shannon asked me a question like that had pissed me off yeah i'd probably when I, when, when, Fuck I, off, shannon. When, I, when i'd had more food i'd probably yeah. be a bit like a bit more responsive you know yeah. what i mean like, or if she did something funny i'd actually have the energy to laugh yeah whereas like if you're on low food high expenditure yeah and you're losing at maybe a quite maybe a faster rate than you should be at a certain point. Like yeah. that's when like all those just normal day to day tasks just become a bit like, ugh, yeah. like everything feels like more of a drag, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I felt like that was a good little chat. 